Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I was asked to combine two of my previous videos. So the battery switch diagram with the wiring bolt diagram, we'll put them together. All right, let's go. Just a reminder, this is the battery switch diagram and this is the bolt wiring diagram. All right, let's go back to the battery switch diagram and start removing whatever is already on the bolt wiring diagram. So we have the strict necessary. And now we go to the bolt wiring diagram and we'll do the same thing. We'll remove the battery section. All right, let's start by moving this wiring diagram all the way to the top right to make space for the switch battery diagram. At this point, I'll take a second to ask you guys to like and subscribe. Thank you for your support. Okay, so basically, we're going to add two bus bars. One red, one black. One for the positive, one for the negative. We'll start connecting the negative of the starter battery. Then we'll connect the negative of the house battery to the bus bar. Okay, now it's time to connect the ground of the fuse boxes. Let's start with the ignition fuse box and followed by the always on fuse box. Now we'll connect the negative of the trolling engine followed by the negative of the outboard connected on the negative of the bus bar. Guys, just a quick reminder, when you do your connections, have your positive of your batteries disconnected. All right, we'll start connecting the equipment on the positive bus bar. Let's start with the trolling engine. So the positive of the trolling engine to the red bus bar. Let's continue with the always on fuse box, the positive to the positive bus bar, followed by the key section. The off section goes to the positive of the bus bar because that's what feeds the ignition fuse box. And now we'll connect the positive of the outboard to the positive of the bus bar. And now I'm gonna move the input to text because it's in the way of me connecting the output of the switch box to the positive of the bus bar. At this point, I'd like to change the connections of the water pump. Since we have a switch and it could be set at off, if your boat is on the water and it rains, your pump won't start. It needs to be connected directly to your battery. All right, let's do it. Let's disconnect the negative of the pump of the always on fuse box. And let's disconnect the positive of the pump from the always on fuse box. Now we're ready to connect it to the house battery. We'll take the negative of the pump, bring it to the negative of the house battery. And now we got to bring the positive of the water pump to the positive of the house battery. Let's not forget to put a fuse holder with a fuse inside because it's not passing through fuse boxes. Now that it's complete, I'll show you what it does. If you look at your switch battery, I've switched it to input one. At this point, it's using the starter battery. You can start your engine. Now that your outboard is started, you can switch your switch box to input two, and it's going to use the house battery. So you can use your trolling engine and everything that's on the boat. It's all going to be used on the house battery. Let's not forget that your outboard right now is only charging your house battery since you're on input two. If your starter battery is starting to be weak, you can switch your switch box to the position that says boat. At this point, your outboard is going to recharge both batteries. It's not the best scenario, but the option is there. Once you're done and you don't need your batteries no more, you can switch to the off position. At this point, your water pump is still going to work since it's connected directly to the house battery. Another important information is to use the right gauge wire. On the top corner, I have a link to another video I did that tells you which gauge wires to use. There is other ways of doing this diagram, but this is how I would do it. And that's it for this video. 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer. Write them below. See you guys soon. Thank you.